Welcome everybody to the Learning Pro Live. My name is Kath Ellis and today we're going to talk about creating e-learning using templates. It's a topic that I get asked a lot about and I couldn't think of anyone better to ask to join me today than Carlis from Faster Course. Welcome Carlis. Thank you Hi. so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Very nice. So Hopefully we'll get a few people tuning in today, Carly, so we can talk a little bit about creating e-learning from templates. And you own a phenomenal business. I've been a big fan of your product for a long time. I mean, we met, what, two, two and a half years ago? Something yes. like that? In DevLearn, very briefly, yes. Yeah, so do you want to introduce yourself and tell everyone about um, Faster Course? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so my name is Carly. Uh, I have been working in e-learning since 2007. Uh, we're doing all kind of custom development projects. And then uh, starting from 2014, we launched a separate uh, business entity, Faster Course, um, which now has grown to 10 people. So we have a small team uh, working on the product and uh, we are uh, developing templates for uh, Storyline, Captivate and Lectora. Um, yeah, we have right now over 2,000 templates and what we aim for and what's our, as we say, competitive advantage or at least, you know, what's, what we hope is our competitive advantage is that we, we aim for modern design templates. So we try to yeah. make them more modern, uh, good looking and something that, you know, e-learning industry has uh, deserved for a long time. So that's where we try to focus our efforts on. Yeah, I remember when I saw your product, Carlos, and, you know, one of the things that really stood out for me was the the great design of your templates. Um, do you want to, do you want me to lead? Do you want to lead? I can bring Faster Course up and share it with everyone. You can lead. I can just add comments. Uh, All right, no problem. Well, we've got Alexa who's tuning in from Florida. So, hi, Alexa. Glad to have you here. And um, if you've got questions, we've got the master of disaster right here, Carl. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's, uh, um, he's all over this, so you know you can we can we can shoot them away to Carlos. So let me just share my screen. I can maybe uh, provide a background noise while you're sharing. Uh, so well, I'll tell you what. I've got dogs barking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What I wanted to tell is that. Uh, we are based in Latvia, which is Northeast Europe. So we work a lot with UK, with Scandinavia and Northern Europe. And, and we, of course, our design has been uh, influenced by the Nordic uh, design, uh, like Scandinavian design, etc. Yeah, really so nice flat design. That, that's helped design. Which, yeah. And then that's, that's major influence which we had because we have been working in this region for more than 10 years. So that's why. Uh, the design looks like it does and sometimes uh, we think that we should make it a bit more um flashy but uh you know we we we, we haven't done it yet so that, that, well that's, I, I that's think you're part. making it sound bad that, that your stuff is really good carlos like i love the design i think it, it you know you guys jumped on the whole flat design very early um yeah i think it looks great so if you, you do go, some if, Things, don't you? You do your templates. You've got your courses, which we'll talk about as well. Yes. So we training. we have um, basically four products right now. Uh, so we do custom development, same as you, Cat, but in what way less scale and way less, uh, I would say, um, yeah, let's say scale. And uh, and then <laughs> then the, the products that we are selling off the shelf, uh, we have three. We have e-learning template library which has 2,000, 2000 something templates uh, in Storyline, Captivate and Lectora. So this is our, if you go to the templates in the top. Uh, oh, yeah. sorry, I'm wrong. Yeah, no problem, you can, go, you can go from anywhere. So you can see that the templates have uh, design and uh, programming done. So everything is pre-designed and pre-programmed. And you can choose from uh, different kinds of games, game templates, branching scenarios, uh, test, quiz, templates, all kind of page types you can imagine. Uh, and we have built them in similar designs for Storyline and Captivate and also Lectora. 
So these are the three tools we focus on and uh, we feel very comfortable in working with those three tools. We have been thinking about more tools, but uh, we are a small company, so we can't do everything. So we are currently, we're focusing on these ones. Um, so maybe you can go to the storyline ones and because uh, you're yeah, storyline storyline uh, girl. So uh, let's go there. And uh, so we, we, uh, we, we keep adding new stuff. And the idea of the templates is that uh, template library is that you can choose anything you like and you add your own logo or colors and you can modify them. And that's the idea behind the template business is that you can uh, save time and it really saves time tremendously because instead of uh, thinking about for example for example glossary page you need to build a glossary page of you know like uh, <laughs> good template say project life exactly uh, so t glossary page if you build it from scratch with you know like uh, 30 letters uh, it can take you know two days if you build it in captivate right and in storyline it's quite extensive too uh, here you have a template that you can use out of the box. Just add your uh, content. And that's something that many people ha really understand and, and, and like to use. And uh, templates is nothing new. And uh, we're just providing another service which just uh, gives templates in uh, what we feel is a good design and, and well built. Um, people sometimes ask if uh, they are using templates. Why, 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 why would we use templates? And I believe, Kat, even though you, you might not want to admit it, but you're also using templates. You're just using your own because you're probably reusing some of the stuff from previous courses. No? That's right. So, you know, I've I kind of, in my workflow, I've got my master one built already. So the way that you've made this Chromeless, that's the term. I don't know if that's an official term, but... That's what I call stripping away all of this. If you mm. sit and you work out the time that that takes from scratch, I've got that saved as a little XML file as a backup. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, I just saved it into my, um, my storyline player so that I can just apply it, so I can apply that theme. So that already has saved me a significant amount of time. You know, even having the fonts set up and the colors so that if I change one color, it changes all the colors. So if my master color here, yours is, is yellow, and I want to change that to blue, I can change it and it will change everything. And that's what you're doing for everyone by creating these templates to really, yeah, speed up their workflow, you know? Yeah, so one is speed, and, and the thing is, you no, know, I'm, I'm not a graphic designer. We have two graphic designers in house, and uh, you know, lots of our clients also say, "Hey, we, we might even understand the, how you have built it, but we don't have the eye for it." You know, like uh, visual eye, and uh, and that's something also which is a great uh, uh, addition because and and value because their uh, designers have thought about this. They're using the design principles there. The grid is there. And it looks professional. And uh, from my perspective, I, I can say that if you build something that uh, looks bad and good, then uh, you will uh, leave a better impression on your clients. And at least in my experience, you will have less stupid questions and they will be less picky. If, if it looks good, uh, it, it will help you in, in the long run. Um, maybe if you, if you can go back to the template list, I could show you the, one of the last ones, which uh, uh, yes. I think two, two of them, which I really like. Go go to the very top. Go to please. the top. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, a bit down, a bit down. Where are the templates? Yes. So uh, this second from the top, this medical is something we built quite recently. So that's okay. maybe that's maybe something we I would like to show as an example. Is we are, we what are is, our. What is uh, just that? Then? Do you get involved in backward integration of ID and analysis work too? What do you mean by that, Mudasir? Um Expand a little bit on that so we can just answer that question for you. Keep going, Carlos. Yeah, so, so um, of course, the design and style has evolved, and currently I think we have 
templates that have been built by four different designers, or not built, but designed. Uh, so it's um, it's changing a little bit, uh, but I'm I'm still I still really love it. I have to say that I am not I haven't approved all of them. There were some templates which I didn't like, but uh, we we have this uh, company culture that you know if designers like it and developers like it, then it's cool. It doesn't matter because uh, my taste doesn't ma doesn't matter what what the uh, end users like or don't like. That's what matters. So, but I like these ones a lot. <laughs> so this uh, a few a few of these. Uh, so you can see that the icons are there. And by the way, that's also one thing is that um, okay now you nowadays you can get a lot of icons, but you still need to, and you can get them free or almost free. But you still need yeah. to search for them, right? And you need to choose and pick, and you and there are graphical styles of icons. You know, like um, how thick are those lines, etc. So. If you're not a designer, you can, you know, make it better or worse, right? And then here you have everything ready, and you have the Illustrator file with the with the graphical um, items there, which you can, you know, recolor if you want or do whatever you like. So that's that's one template, and I want to show one more. Is that that one is my favorite one? Uh, just yeah, no uh, and this is called Emerald Island. It's a second row uh, to the, row the right. This yeah, this one. Yeah. Le, 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 le. It, looks good. it looks a bit different from others and I really like it and um, you can click start and so um, yeah it's a, there's a nice menu page I it takes to do all of these you know it's it's not a five minute job it mm -hmm. takes a while um, yeah. and that's, yeah. that's why I think your your product is is different. You know, I think it looks really smart. Yeah, we, we internally, we count about um, one to two hours for uh, development of a single page. Uh, sorry, not development, design of a single page. And the same for development. Some pages faster, some, some less, but there's a significant amount of time both in design and development that's being put in so that uh, the product in the end looks good and it's polished and you know works we we recently actually got a very funny um funny reference from one of our clients we, we do um we do interviews sometimes and uh they were using another template library i will not tell which one but they said that they are not sure if that other template library is captivate templates even work <laughs> so that was really funny and uh, you know it's uh it's really important to make them work. So uh, otherwise, you know, it's not really a template. So, um, what does Sia just said? I mean, apart from selling templates, do they do they support with providing instructional design or analysis services? Sorry, I might have been already answered. Now, what does Sia? So, um, faster course do custom development as well. Um, I think what, what Modesty might be asking though is, uh, do you provide instructional design support and actually analysis of projects as a as an additional service? We do Modesty. instructional design. Yeah. Uh, I would I will be very blunt and very honest. Uh, I think we're good, but we're not exceptional. So we are, I think we are, our core competence is in, in the design and development of uh, courses and templates, not only templates, we do much more advanced courses than these ones for custom development if needed. But we don't do advanced stuff in templates because those are templates and we need beginner e-learning developers to be able to operate them. So the templates are looking nice and professional, but they are quite, um, mid-level interactivity you could say uh, but answering uh, answering the question about instructional design yeah we do it uh, we're, we are uh, I think good at it but we are not like world-class or something like that I wouldn't say that and uh, and there is a language issue uh, we, we write we are our native language is Latvian so if we write in English we need a, a proofreader uh, of a native speaker so that that affects it and uh, we speak English. Uh, of course, everyone in our team speaks English, but it's a second language, so it's not it's not really good for uh, for writing scripts or storyboards. Um, but um, 
but 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 uh, what I want to say is that yeah, so uh, our core competence is in the design and development. So, but we do we do instructional design as well. Yeah, looks looks great though, doesn't it? But it's here. Um, you know, I I'd I'd certainly say to to you guys, it's it really. So when I work on on a lot of client work, you know, I I always say to a client whether people would agree with with me or not. I always say to a client, whether you go with me or not, you have to get that master file because if, God forbid, something happened to me, you want to own that master file. Now, I know deep down because a lot of clients, you know, especially if I do kind of advanced gamification for people, it's too complicated. They'll never work out all the variables. I can explain all of them. I can do all of that but what's nice about your templates is they're not fully locked down so that like you said a, a beginner can jump in and can utilize this template you know they can work out how to to um make changes uh which i think is great yeah Yeah, looks looks really nice. I'm just gonna flick through some some other little slides here. So it's got a nice amount of variety. Yeah, yeah, it it, it does. So you're down on the articulate and um I know that you use my favorite tool in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've had conversations about this. Of course. Of course. Um, Captivate. So I just want to. Um, oh, so these are the games. Yeah, we have games too. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just one second. Clown man, it's many zivia. You snag up through not zitur. Sorry. <laughs> I've never I've never heard you speak in Latvian. Latvian? Yeah. Latvian, yeah. 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 Say uh can you say something in Latvian? What's Sveiki. hello? Sveiki. Sveiki. Sveiki, yeah. Sveiki. Cool man. Cool. Mm. Um and, and we've we've obviously had conversations in the past as well about gamification and um, you know, you said, you know, what, what would you like to see as far as in our library? And um, I'll, I'll put you on the spot later on. I won't put you on the spot now. Uh, but these are really great, guys. You should go and, you know, it costs even nothing to jump on Faster Course and have a look through the templates. And I'll guarantee you for the cost of the, um, so what is it, per year, 349 US dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the price of it, you know, even if you grab out five templates, you've paid you paid your money off. You paid your money off with one, you know. But I think that it's it's a really great product that you've got. So let's have a look at your um, Captivate. I'm going through these very quickly. Uh, where's your Captivate ones again? You can go just one back. Our templates, yeah. Oh yeah, you can do like that. Yeah, and just go down to the captivate ones. Yeah, and you've got Lectora, which is exciting as well. Yeah, we used to be in inside Lectora, uh, like uh, Lectora eighteen. Um, yeah. Before Lectora was bought by eLearning Brothers, uh, if you open the splash screen of Lectora, you had faster course templates inside. Oh, wow. And you can see this is the same template that you just saw in Storyline. Now it's built in Captivate. It looks like 98% the same, but um, uh, there are some differences sometimes how the fonts are rendered or things like that, but uh, it's pretty much the same design. Yeah. Uh, which is not always easy, uh, but uh, that's, that's, that's what we work on. And the Lectora... Lectora so, ones are, are uh, we have been uh, a little bit lazy in updating the library. So they have the first first uh, 500 are built uh, in all three, 
first 500 template types. The latest ones haven't been built in Lectora. We have been uh, putting it back a bit uh, to see how it goes. But yeah, that's the reality. So are these, um, these are HTML5, are they? Yeah. We started, uh, well, uh, we started with uh, Lectora, I think, in 2010 or 11. Yeah. And um, so it, it, it was our tool of choice for very many years because we, one of our biggest clients was a Swedish company, still is, uh, a Swedish company who's uh, working a lot with Lectora. So we learned a lot from them and uh, we have very good relationships with Lectora, still are actually, even, even after they have been bought by Elon Brothers. Uh, so it's uh, it's a great tool. Uh, the, the downside, at least in my mind, is that it's um, uh, there's a bit of a learning curve to learn it, uh, but once you master it, it's quite adaptive to, um, uh, at least the reason why our development team loved it was that you could easily add JavaScript and extra functionality. That was very easy yeah. to plug in. Uh, and I think they also kind of enjoyed it that it, it had this steep learning curve because it made them feel like they're super cool. <laughs> but, uh, because, you know, with Storyline, it's very fast. You, you learn it quite quickly. Uh, with Lectora, you can also learn it quickly, but it, it takes a bit more effort. And um, But it's a good tool. No, nothing against it. Uh, and now I think it's uh, all three tools are... In our custom development uh, department, I think we all we use all three in about the same um, percentage because yeah. Lectora historically has been our first tool. And actually, the first templates that we built uh, for fast, of course, were in Lectora. And Lectora. I remember and we built them in 2014. And I remember I saw the we we saw the first ones in March 2015. And one template package costed nineteen dollars, and I was so happy when we sold the first one. Still remember that. You know, it's it's um, it's really nice the service that you offer because I, I have clients who reach out to me and they say, "Do you, you know, do you do Captivate? Do you do Lectora?" And I explain to them, "No." And they say, "Why?" And I say, "Well, really, you know, as a freelancer, there's only so much." so many authoring tools that I can afford. And I've obviously invested into Articulate Storyline and I invest into um, Adapt, you know, as my alternative, as a, as a responsive. Um, not that I don't like Rise, but um, for more high-end products, I, I use Adapt. And I think this gives people a lot of options, right? Even for people who download the... Um, who want to download a a demo of, of a different authoring tool. Um, you've even got freebies up here that people can download some uh, templates to have a little play around in. So I think that that's great too. Um, I know that these are a, a more basic, but that at least it gives people something to, to, to work with. Um, your courses, shall we talk about your courses? Because that's a great offering that you have. Yes, let's, let's talk about the courses. Very good. Um, this is something we, uh, we have been um, thinking about for many years. And uh, we actually uh, got this idea from one very famous uh, person who works in uh, Articulate, but I will not tell his name, but uh, he knows it. Uh, and uh, the idea was to build something called 80% uh, ready courses so that you have a base on which you can quickly uh, build uh, several courses for your clients. So, for example, you need to build a course in I don't know, data protection, right? We, if you scroll down a bit, you will see. Um, you can click on this image. Uh, so we have a data protection course, which is about, you know, 35 pages. Uh, so we, we say it's like 30 to 40 minutes. It has the basic data in, basic uh, instructional design is done. And if you want, you can quickly customize it. So you, you can uh, add your own uh, company specifics, as we, we, as we like to say, add your own magic. So we're not robbing instructional designers from their work. Uh, you know, like 
we, they, th their boss cannot say, and hey, hey, we'll just use this one and fire you. No, that's not the point. The point is that uh, we are giving them more options because they can quickly get the content, like basic content, because data protection is quite generic stuff. You need to think about passwords and, you know, you know about protocols and safety protocols, etc. So it's not um, on an introductory, introductory level, it's quite well known what should be in the course. So we have that done. And then the instructional designers can come in and show their, uh, as I say, magic and add specifics of the company. Uh, and I don't mean colors. I mean also like, uh, you know, like specific mechanisms that's relevant for that organization for data protection. Like maybe they have their internal systems or, or some other uh, procedures that they use to, to help ensure uh, that their company data is protected. And, uh, and that makes the course truly uh, specific and relevant because what we see is at least, you know, I have to talk, talking to dozens of people in conferences, is that if you, if you talk about uh, off-the-shelf courses, uh, they are a little bit yesterday because uh, mm. they, are, they are not really uh, specified to uh, each organization. And, uh, and of course, you can build everything from scratch, but let's be honest, like maybe not 80%, but you know, like 65 or 70% of AML or data protection introductory courses have very similar content. Yeah. And then there's, you know, like 30 to 20%, which is specific. And that's the idea of these course templates that you take the, the thing, you can, you can launch it today. It works. It's, I mean, the course is ready, but, uh, but the cool thing is that you get the source files in Captivate and Storyline, not in Lectora though, but in Captivate and Storyline, both. And you can, uh, you know, launch it today as it is, just export it to, I think it even has, yeah, it has a SCORM export already when you buy it and uh, launch it in your LMS and start training people today. But if you want, you can change the colors or add a chapter, delete a chapter, you know, add pages, etc. Everything is there. And one more thing, which I think is important to realize that this is a proper course. Uh, we did a few user interviews and one of the things which they liked is that, you know, like choice of images are relevant. And the second yeah. is um, flow instructional design is there. So it's not just a mix and match of whatever. Uh, we have really thought about how the ideas are flow, flowing and uh, making sure that it's, it makes, makes a good, good uh, methodology for, for the way people learn. So it's a proper course. So pricing, is this part of the price or is this additional? This is additional. Uh, you pay um, $300 or $299 for a course, it's a one-time fee. Uh, yeah. We cannot control what you do, it, do with it, so we don't ask for um, you know maintenance or renewal or something like that. There's no subscription. You use it and uh, buy it, then you use it forever for a amount of clients. The only limitation is you can't just buy our course templates and then make uh, another course template library and just sell it as it is uh, and become our direct competitors online. But you can download it and use it for your clients. Unlimited users, unlimited clients can sell it as it is to your clients. Uh, just don't become our direct competitors in online environment. And and then we yeah. have a course, course library which costs uh, 1,499 uh, and that includes 15 courses. And uh, I want to show you one course of them, which I think you might like. Uh, yeah. If you go one step back. Uh, so there are quite, the courses have similar design, all of them, except one. If you scroll down, I'll show you. Uh, there's one that's called Sustainable Workplace, exactly. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know if it's uh, relevant in Australia, uh, but uh, in Europe, it's very relevant. Uh, you know, the way we work, uh, Ah, but you won't see it because it's, um, maybe I could share my screen. Yeah, because you, will, you will see just part of it uh, because you won't see uh, full, uh, full, of, full of this. Uh, so just give me a second, I'll open it. Because I want to show you some uh, tricks which we did there. Uh, yeah. Which uh, I think are pretty cool. What do you think, guys, for those of you who are tuning in, is this a tool that, um, is this something that you uh, 
that appeals to you that you can see would speed up your workflow. Um, also, have you got any suggestions for Carlos? Is there something that you think you'd like to see? Carlos is like, oh no. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. So I don't know if, uh, do you see anything? Here we go. I got you. I got you. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so I, I can uh, continue. So this is a sustainable workplace. We did it uh, for a local electricity company. Mm -hmm. And we actually got the, like reviews from some American clients who said, "Hey, why, why, why are you building this? It's not relevant." And um, I think it might not be relevant for everyone, but it's it's a great example of something that looks a bit different. Uh, and um, and in many countries, you know, like being sustainable and you know, energy efficient is very relevant. Uh, but uh, so I, I think it really depends on person. Uh, but uh, we we really built. Um, something that we also liked. So there are a few tips about how to save energy uh, in terms of electricity, water, and you know, you, you, you learn about the uh, renewables and, uh, and stuff like that. And uh, you, you learn some basics uh, and you have all the content here. You can, you know, click through different, uh, you know, like light bulbs and, you know, learn which ones are better, which are worse. And you have some quizzes and tests here as well. Um, so, for example, you can uh, uh, you can see that there's you know like problems in an, in a modern office, and then you have a nice little animation which shows like a potential solution. Uh, so we have a few of these uh, chapters here. Uh, I want to show you one. Uh, so there is more about heating, ventilation, water recycling. But let's just go quickly to recycling, for example. Uh, yeah. And you can see like tips for reducing waste, like use rechargeable batteries, edit on screen, uh, send and store documents electronically, like basic stuff, but it, it adds up. Like if everyone starts doing it, it's great. And then you like basics about recycling, which can be different in different regions, states or countries, but these are course templates. So you can modify them and make sure yeah. that they fit your Specifics. So, for example, you know, like you see, okay, magazine goes here. That's right. Uh, like a can goes here, uh, etc. And you do these little tests. And um, so this, there's, it's, it's a quite gamified course, uh, and it's just made a little bit for fun. And this one is uh, my favorite one. It's uh, can you survive a year? So you have one million dollars, and you need to run a factory for a year. And um, and the uh, the idea is that you lose or you, you need to spend on factory maintenance one hundred thousand every month. So and as there are twelve months in a year, it means uh, that you know by the end of October you will have run out of money. Yeah. Uh, unless you invest wisely in in the in the sustainable. Um, energy resources and uh, this was a quite simple game and if, if you in, invest wisely you also get some bonuses here and there and uh, so I'll, I'll just quickly show so you have the first year uh, you have the first uh, decision and decisions are made every quarter so depending on what you like you choose one of the and you see the costs and and, and the gains every month so the, this one is like the one which helps the most, you insulate uh, the building. Uh, and you can see the building changed a bit and you see less money is, uh, you get less money every month, but you still have quite enough. And uh, then you can do something else, you know, like um, let's say, let's do territory landscaping. It doesn't really affect um, uh, maintenance costs or it actually increases them, but uh, it looks nicer, right? And then let's do something more stupid. You know, let's build a cafe, right? The employees are happy. Uh, doesn't really help your bottom line. And then uh, you can say, okay, but let's do something maybe a bit more smart. Let's do waste recycling, right? And um, as we were smart in the first decision, which was, you know, this waste recycle uh, insulation of building, 
uh, we managed to survive. So we still have enough money at the end of the year. But if yeah. we would have made different choices, uh, this factory would have become a wreck. Uh, so it's just a simple little game with game mechanics allow people to, um, you know, understand uh, that if you are smart about energy efficiency, it pays off. Absolutely. Well, I'd so say that this is relevant anywhere, but there's people who would argue that. So, um, no, I think this is a great uh, addition. And I think that certainly I, I, I have a lot of clients that reach out wanting compliance related courses. And you're right, a lot of these topics, whether it's bullying and, and harassment or it's, um, you know, uh, sexual harassment, if it's uh, health, safety and well-being or data breaches, okay, it may not be specific to the country, but a lot of the parameters are the same, you know? So yeah. I think these, these courses are, are a great foundation for people to, to work on and, and obviously customize it as per their, um, their requirements. Now, I talked to you about this before and we haven't had any comments in, but we have got people tuned in. So I'd love to get your, feedback on this um so maybe i can quickly game. show show one more uh game again. yeah 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 Wh which one which one do you want to show uh maybe i'll stop screen share screen sharing and i'll let you do that because i think you, you're okay you're way, you're way better presenter than i am oh please <laughs> yeah there you go here's my one uh which go one to the te te no no let's go to the templates i want to show you one game ah uh, okay Templates. Yeah. And go yeah. to the storyline. Yeah. And, and then you will do need to do a quite a lot of scrolling. Scroll down a lot. We have templates in the beginning and then games at the bend. Yes, this is uh, a little bit up. A little bit up. Where is this? No, one second. Now I'm confused. One sec. Go a bit down. Where is it? Hmm. No, I'm a bit confused. Give me a second. I'll just find find the one I want to okay. talk about. I gave um guys. I gave Carlos a bit of a hard time the last time we we were chatting, and I said, um, "Hey, Carlos, man, when are you going to build some leaderboards and you know <laughs> countdown clocks and things like that?" So I'm hoping that's what he's going to show me. But maybe you're like, <laughs> no. no. No, and we, we have been quite busy with uh, building regular templates because yeah. we still had some ideas of what to build. And then also, um, uh, we, I found it, it's actually inside the template package. Uh, let's see. If I'm slowly going. Uh, yeah, no, we 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 are um, we we were working a bit on this um, course templates, and uh, there's one more product which we haven't discussed, which we also enhanced quite a bit the last three months or so, uh, which is Captivate uh, training program. But we can talk about it later. So I want to show you this one, which is uh, I think a, an excellent example of uh, of why templates can be cool, uh, because this we call it ice cream game. I know that you yeah. have this this game. I think you have it in, all, in Australia as well. I know that UK and America has it. So most probably you have it also. Uh, a game called Hangman, when yeah. you need to write letters, and if you're wrong, then you start drawing this little person who's going to be hanged, right? So we didn't want to hang anyone, so we uh, made an uh, ice cream game with letters. So if you answer which are the first 10 letters of the alphabet, uh, if you answer correctly, you know they are appearing here. And if you're answering wrong, then uh, you see that the uh, your ice cream is being eaten. Yeah. And and that's a very simple game, but it actually takes quite a time to build this. And uh, and this is uh, something that, for example, in uh, one of our clients, they didn't want it to do ice cream. They were an electricity company, so they had something that's you know like you you pull out an electric plug from the socket. So once. Yeah. 
it's out, you have no more electricity flowing in. Oh, and we did one for um, uh, telecommunications company, a mobile yeah. phone com telecommunications, and they were, um, you were losing network coverage on your phone. So mm -hmm. you, you have these bars going down, tick, 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 tick. And uh, so that's very simple idea and really gamified. And you can really quickly, once you have the template ready, it's actually quite fast. You just need to change the images. So instead of having ice cream, you have, you know, like electric socket or you have a network coverage bars and you change the letters, you know, the, the, the letters, the logics, which ones are correct and which are wrong. So that's... So in the back, the back end of these templates, is there actually instructions that tell you what you need to change? Yeah. We we do write them. We write them in uh, at the side of the screen so that you don't see them when you publish, but yeah. when you open, you, you can see the instructions. And uh, we are, I think we have a amazed. We are being praised by our users so that they they can ask questions and we try to answer as soon as possible. Is that yeah. Liga who's there? Liva. We have two Liga. Not, two not Liga. similar names. Yeah, Liga is a designer. Yeah, she's a designer. Yeah. We know Liga, and she's incredibly talented. Um, I like her a lot. So, yeah, she's right. amazing. She's amazing. We we have been working with her. I think she has been fast, fast of course. For I don't want to lie because she might be watching this at some point. But I would guess five years, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get, uh, or I'm gonna ask Liga to come on and have a chat with me at at some point um, because. Uh, yeah, huge fan. And and who else on your team have you got? Um, you've got other well, designers. We have one more right now. Uh, so we yeah. have two designers uh, in-house. Uh, we used to have two different before. Well, we have been working for, for a while. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, we have two designers, uh, four developers, two project managers, and then there's marketing manager who is also a slash support manager. And then there's me who's doing sales and finance and everything else that as I like to say, no one else wants to do, but that's <laughs> I guess, part of the reality. But uh, yeah, so we are a small team, but um, yeah. I think we have a really good team. I'm really proud of my colleagues. I think we're, they're doing a great job. So if, if, um, if there are people tuning in who are interested in, in, in purchasing, your product, um, are you open to them making suggestions or requesting Oh, absolutely, we, we love those because uh, that's how we evolve uh, because you, um, e-learning changes and, uh, and there are so many perspectives also on how interactivity should be built. So we totally love suggestions, uh, it's great. Uh, I think, part of our templates, for example, this medical template that we saw before, it was built because of a suggestion from a user because they said, hey, you have yeah. these whatever amazing office templates, but you don't have anything that's really medical team related. And medical is such a huge industry in terms of e-learning and yeah. huge topic. So we built that. And um, yeah, so definitely we are uh, trying to adapt to user requests. Of course, we can't do it yeah. right away. We have some plans. Uh, so right now we have yeah. plans, I think, for the end of the year and I think maybe beginning of next year. But uh, if there's some really good idea, we can, of course, make some switches, uh, switch uh, things around a bit and, and make more prioritize. Yeah. Do you want to um, share anything about what's on your roadmap moving forward or is that all hush hush? I have to ask my colleague one second. I'll, I'll just okay. mute, mute myself because I'm not sure if we have it on the blog or not. One second. All right. Well, for, for those of you who are tuning in, um, I wanted to have Carlos come on and show his product. I think that Carlos has a really great uh, suite of, of courses. And like I said, you, it, it's there's a good variety it's it's you've got three different authoring tools um they're not they're not uh they're not nervous about sharing what you know they've actually got the live demo there that you can run through so i like that that i can 
actually see the templates. So you should go on and take a look. Anyway, over to you, Carlos. Yes, Let us um, know. we were planning to make a blog post about what's <coughs> coming, but we haven't done it. Uh, but okay. uh, but the next one uh, template set will be university template set. So it's all about academic, uh, also highly relevant, similar to medical. Yeah. And then there is going to be an onboarding template set, uh, cool. also quite relevant. You know, like uh, you know, meet the team and the, this is our company history and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, and then the third one is a game. So we'll have a game where uh, you go to different uh, buildings or, or I think, no, it wasn't buildings, it was cities. So it was like a travel game a bit. Uh, but we recently got a request about cities, uh, about the buildings, so that you have a, you know, like a, I don't know, factory complex or something that you have several buildings, you know, one logistics, one production, one, I don't know, sales, whatever, administration. And you'd go to different buildings and you learn what each other does. And, and in, in our case, it will be a game where you travel the world and uh, you see uh, what's happening. Cool. So, so those three things are coming up soon. I think the design is ready for all three of them. So it's about development now. Exciting. So do you share things on your blog on a regular basis with, um, yeah? We try to, yeah, it's, um, we're a small team, so it's uh, back and forth, you know, like depends on when you have energy and time, but we do, uh, we do try to do that in blog and we try to send emails as well, which is not, I guess, super efficient because, you know, like 20% open them, but, uh, uh, but uh, we do send email newsletters about what's coming up. Well, you know, I think it's great. I think it's great what you've got and um, wanted to share it on the channel and give give people the opportunity to, to ask you questions. Now, if you are watching this on replay, guys, I know that the chat is very quiet. I'm not sure why, maybe it's dinner time, but um, the chat's very quiet. If you do have questions, I've actually put the links to Faster Course and also to Carlos's LinkedIn page down at the bottom of the description. So no matter where you're tuning in from or where you're watching this from, you can find his information, reach out, uh, you know, and and do you have a demo at all? Do you have a trial period or is it just you lock it in or you don't? We, for templates, we have uh, uh, full demos. You can see all 2,000 something templates yeah. live 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. That's something as I think you said you liked, and uh, we think it's cool too. So yeah. we you can see all of the template library. It takes time. Well, you can't. You, you it, really, it probably will take you a week to see all of them, but uh, uh, but you can see all the interactivity live on our website. We don't, don't do trials because it's a double. So you don't, and you know we lose control of whether they use it or not. But we have freebies. So the idea is that you can see all the demos, you can download a freebie, play around, understand how it's built, you understand if, if it works for you. And of course you can ask questions and we're happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, with course templates, we have a small, de small demo because there we sell also instructional design. So we didn't want it to give full access to all of the content because that's, that's part of the IP there. Yeah. Yeah. But we do uh, on-demand demos. So, for example, you say, hey, I'm interested in this workplace harassment course. Can you do a full demo? We'll find a time and I will do you, a, I will create a full demo for you individually. Um, yeah, so that, that's, that, that's about the demos. One more product which we didn't discuss is this Captivate training. I know, yeah. Kat, you have a special feelings yeah. about Captivate. Uh, but we really yeah. felt that... Let, let, me, let, me, let me explain. Right, because I'm going to be the baddie here, okay? My feedback is that they don't have the same community as Storyline, in which if I need to know anything about Storyline, I can jump onto e-learning heroes and happy days. Um, I, can, I can find it out. I can search for it. But Captivate is, and I've said this to you for a long time, there's just nothing out there or it's really behind lock and key. So 
where is it let me share it or do you want to share it what would you no you, you, you can share uh if you go to the training yeah that one yeah uh it has uh 85 lessons and there's going to be i think four or five new ones very soon uh and you get access to training videos and um exercise files so you can play around in your own time break stuff the first seven are free so you can go to the first one uh, and uh, you you watch a video uh, of how things are built uh, and uh, you also have an exercise file at the bottom which you can download and play around with it uh, the only downside, it has this amazing uh, narrator with a Latvian uh, accent uh, narrating it. <laughs> so <laughs> we, it was a, it was a something we, we, we just thought, okay, whatever, it's going to be fine. So I'm, I have, um, I have narrated those videos, um, but most people say it's okay. I got one, one uh, comment about the way I say duplicate duplicate or duplicate so that was the wrong <laughs> wrong thing otherwise people haven't really complained much about it uh, so you you can listen and watch how uh, everything is done on screen and you also have the exercise file so you open it in your captivate and you can try to do the same making break stuff or you know do whatever you like so we feel that this is uh, quite efficient because you and and we really uh, we are we're Latvians so we are not very good at uh, selling and you know making bullshit videos so we are very focused right so the videos are short you know it's like two minute videos where we show and tell you what you need to do and we try Isn't to be efficient sorry that's all you need yeah exactly and uh, and that's what we try and so we're not very good at you know like selling ourselves but we are i think pretty good at being on focus on 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 you know on, on the on the subject so that's uh that's how it works and this and is Nineteen dollars, nineteen dollars a month. But you can uh, use it for a month and cancel, no questions asked. So basically, if you have time for nineteen dollars, you can learn quite a lot in Captivate, and it will save you lots of time and questions. So where's your advertising for this? You need to get this all over LinkedIn. Yes, uh, I'm going to ask my marketing manager where's our advertising. Uh, uh, She's uh, Lisa, you need to get onto this. You need to, to um, be getting this onto LinkedIn so everyone can see it. No, we are trying. We are trying to do that. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's going live and uh, now, and we have some advertising being uh, made right now. So it's um, we're trying to do that. Yeah. Good job. Well, I think that um, this is great, and I hope that those of you who've tuned in have. Uh, you know, taking away a few ideas. Uh, you, you can see another product that's out there that's just a fantastic product. For those of you who uh, do like using templates, these templates are really, really great. They're put together, um, uh, they're, they're very polished, you know, even the design, the aesthetics and the imagery that's used, it's, it's not offensive, it can be used straight away. Whether you want to, um, Oh, Jennifer says it's been interesting. Thank you both. Um, so, you know, have a look at it. See, see if it's for you. Uh, I didn't put this on uh, specifically to do a, a sales push. It was an opportunity, I suppose, to have Carlos here. That if you had questions um, for him, you know, he, he'd happily answer them. But you know, Carlos has been doing this for a number of years now. He's just trying to make the quality of storyline templates a little bit better and i think we've seen uh yeah alexa there's the link for the website um is is just in the description so it's uh fastercourse.com yeah um i'll actually type it in here fastercourse.com i have to add that uh, this uh, this uh, webinar was in no way sponsored or or any sales push was intended but uh i think uh we had a really nice and friendly conversation with kat and i think she she kind of likes our stuff but uh in, in no way we were planning to um this was not this is not a sales call just hap i don't know what just happened there i just disappeared you, dis you disappeared yes <laughs> 
as I know soon I as I post saying, I was just saying that this is not a sponsored uh, call. So while, while you were yeah. awake. But, um, um, yeah, but I guess the, the, if you have any questions about templates or about what, how to use them, not faster because maybe any templates, I'm happy to answer. And uh, we are, you know, we're just a small, small company adapting to market conditions and we're happy to answer questions. So, yeah. And look, guys, this is part of the Learning Pro Live to not only have e-learning de designers and developers onto the channel, but to have vendors as well and to have robust conversations. So if there's, you know, things that you're interested in or you're wanting from that vendor that you can ask them. So that's really the whole mechanism of having having you on, Carlos, um, just to open it up a little bit. But, I mean, the fact of the matter is I, I like it. And I think if you guys, um, you know, do have questions for Carlos, he's a, he's a great guy. Just reach out and ask him. And maybe we'll have you on. We didn't really talk about – we were going to talk a little bit about freelance um, freelancing as well, but – Maybe we'll do that next time, Carlos. Uh, I'd love to have you on again if, you, if you'll if you have me. Absolutely. I'm happy to because uh, I, I just suggested about this freelancing that we can talk uh, uh, because I have had my fair share of crap, the same as everyone. So I just yeah. thought it's, it's fun to share. So that's all. Absolutely. We'll, we'll put that on hold and we'll chat about this the next time around. And um, even your perspective of, dealing with clients you know Th these are really interesting co conversations for learning designers and they'll appreciate that kind of um you know oh, everyone loves that kind of conversation the real stories of what's going on in our in our businesses but i've had you on here now for an hour and um what time is it in latvia now um it's 11 11 a.m 11 a.m well, um, I will let you go. How much is it for you? Is it like 8 p.m. or something? It is uh, 7, yeah, nearly 7.15. So um, nearly at the end of my day. I, I bought a Nintendo Switch. And um, nice. I've actually got myself down a rabbit hole in um, Animal Crossing at the moment. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to put my feet up and probably play Animal Crossing for um, half an hour or so. And, um, yeah, that's it. Just a nice, easy, relaxing evening. Uh, but I, I really appreciate um, I really appreciate having you on, Carlos. Uh, and tell your team thanks very much for, for everything that they do. Uh, Jennifer said, swap one screen for another. Yeah, exactly, Jennifer. Um but it, do you know what? I, I've actually loved the Nintendo because it's given me loads of ideas on designing different elements on the screen, especially Animal Crossing. Like I'm, I'm actually watching the narrative and things like that, and I'm going, that make a really good little e-learning uh, interaction, you know, uh, where people have to to choose a direction to go and. Yeah, I love it. So my brain, I need to turn it off, uh, Carl. It's always thinking about work. No, totally. I think I think uh, it's 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 something that uh, we all suffer from. You you I can't watch a movie, uh these how you call it titles. No, when you when you see that who has done it, all the actors and everything, and I check if the font is nice or wrong. You know, if, if I like the font, you know, you probably have some some, some something similar. So it's I think this part of the career choice. Um but um Yes, and I, I want to say thank you very much for having me. So it was really, mu really much fun, and thank you for all the good words. You're welcome. We'll get you on to the hangout again. But you haven't been on for a while. All right. So. All right. Uh, well, if 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 you guys haven't got any more questions for Carlos, drop your comments in the um, questions below. I'll be looking out for them, and so will Carlos. He's got his details, so. That's it. We'll sign off. Adios. Thank you, right. everyone, for tuning in. And uh, Carlos, I'll get in contact with you. We'll, we'll see you again soon, okay? All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.